Well, so John, tell us a little bit about this. You said this cost you how much? About forty-five hundred to five grand. Jump Greg, in. Greg Marsh built it. Shout out to Greg Marsh. Oh yeah, Greg Marsh. We know him. Yeah, he comes here all the time. Oh, oh he nice. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Greg Marsh is in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Oh, um, maybe it's the wrong. Gr Greg Marsh. They have the same name. Greg Marsh is six foot four, four twenty pounds. It's totally different. Cool. Sounds like Greg Marsh. I got this back in 2000. <laughs> I got this back in 2010. Yeah, look, see, Greg Marsh. If you show me what it looks like, though. Yeah, this guy's big. <laughs> Guys, this is a really awesome truck. Like, this is the longest I've seen um, an extended chassis. So you probably what uh, did two chassis on there? Like two long frames. One solid. One solid. And it cut. Where do people, where can people buy these extended uh, frames? Because I know NTG sells some, but they're not really that extended. They're just a little bit longer. Where, where can you get one of those? I don't know. He's the one that got it for me. Oh, okay. What's his name again? Greg? Greg Marsh. Okay, Greg Marsh, if you're watching this video, can you comment below and tell us where you get these frame rails? They're ex... ex like... Ex what's the word I'm looking for? Ex Extravagant? Extravagantly long. Keep your video going. I'll, I'll flip it upside down so you can see underneath it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Cool. Whoa. Hold on. He actually painted this blue. Oh, insane! Wow. The detail is crazy. Wait. Let me just get this whole setup because some people want to know how how to actually get these drive shafts working. So this is metal. Is it? Yeah. This is like an Axio SES Axio SES 10 drive shaft here similar to it not exactly that maybe a little modded and then this is the stock this is the one i believe that comes with it the truck so he got another extender because this is the stock one here so you could see the stock and then he got another one that looks similar to stock just different length and then he got a different drive shaft there so he's got like three three different drive shafts there the rear ends are f350 oh is it the ford f350 yeah the rear ends cool man and all this here, these here, it all glows blue. Yeah, I see. That looks awesome. He's got the multi-function unit. The cables are all cleaned out too. So there's nothing like sticking out. Everything is done really nice. That's good. That's fantastic. I love this here at the front. This is metal, right? Yeah. I love this. Look at that. That looks so great. This is almost like a Kenworth, it a Kenworth. right? It's the Kenworth yeah. Yeah, front end on it. Suicide doors. Doing backwards. Oh, sick. Whoa, this is custom here too, right? Oh, yeah. Like, it all is. How did he do? Oh, this is a rear. This is one for the rear, right? And he no, put it on the front. front. It's for the front? Yeah. Oh, wow. Chop okay. The roof. Stretch the hood. Wow. That's insane. That's really, really nice. You got to wipe it down a little bit, though, because yeah, it's a little bit uh, dusty. It looks a lot better. It's cleaned up. Yeah, but it's good. Whoa. Awesome. Well, I mean, it's going to a good home. So thank you for trading us uh, for this little monster over here. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I love your truck, by the way. It looks great. It's fantastic. Thank you for bringing it in, John. I'll get a whole bunch of them.